Hello and welcome to Endless Every Mode. This is Mysterious Gamer X. And I'm Captain Emoji. And we're and sitting down with some of cadence of high inevitably lost. I'm pretty excited about it actually. Uh it's up I'm still reeling from the fact that we have a an indie Zelda. And game. The wise. Right? Crazy. Didn't think they were gonna get a third party developer. Uh, I mean Hyrule Warriors, I guess. But like but a like, like a smaller one. Well, yeah. It like a, yeah. Oh, okay. Sometimes. So this jerks up to something. They need a little extra help. Did they go for a photorealistic <laughs> heart there instead of a Yeah, that's just what they look like. All right, what's Cadence doing in Hyrule? That's weird. Not gonna lie, I thought Cadence of Hyrule was just referring to the fact that it was a rhythm game in Hyrule. <laughs> uh, I had, in fact, forgotten that the protagonist of the... Uh, oh, yeah, she's dancer, named, she's named, named Cadence. Cadence. She's pretty cool. Completely forgot that. Hey, what's up, fairy? Uh, yeah, more or less. <laughs> Trill. Okay. I like it. It's good. Hooray! We're not hurt. To be fair, I think they always give us a different fairy. We never get Navi as a third party. That's true. Like, uh, Hyrule Warriors got uh, Proxy, who provided us with all of the good dialogues. Oh, I'm not stuck on the beat right now. Oh! wonder if the whole thing's going to be played like Bard, then. Oh, that'd be interesting. I never okay. actually played uh, Necrodancer as the Bard. Like, I'm aware of it, but I never messed around with it. Was there a bonus for doing stuff on the beat, or...? Uh, you could only do stuff on the beat. Oh, okay. And if you messed up, you dropped the beat. Oh. Yeah, because I've only played, like, the, the main quest line, and I haven't finished it. Gamer Confessions with Captain Emoji. Oh, so, neat. a lot of games. <laughs> oh, something for your torch to do besides just boost the light. Okay. Similar to the spider webs in the uh, Great Deku Tree. Yeah. Whoop. Ah. Uh, okay. I thought there were buttons I had to press. That's just what their little launch pads look like in this one, I guess. Okay, so we got fight music, and now you have to move to the beat of the song. I think that makes the puzzle exploring part easier if they have, you know, puzzle explorer type stuff. Which, True. It's a True. Zelda game, so I would assume there's going to be at least a bit. Okay, these guys don't appear to move, so they're basically three points. Well, they got to teach you how to play the, the core nugget of the game somehow. Okay. Okay, so. Oh. I wonder if you'll be able to blow up walls in this one. Yeah, that's a good question. Or if they'll only be able to Ooh, blow up walls. Sword. Like in the Zelda sense, you know. Where it has to have like a, a crack or something to tell you it's blow up a bullet. Battle's over, so... Now you can dance around to the beat of your own drum. Oh, yeah. Okay, so we are going to have the, the digging mechanics in there. That's cool. Alright. Uh-oh. Yeah, we gotta go rescue Link and Zelda. Oh. Well, we gotta go rescue Zelda. I mean, she's got the Triforce of Wisdom. She'll know what to do. Plus, I figure Link's probably just on a side quest, like Link's Awakening. Oh, right? yeah. Hey, what's up, Pimpa? Fair enough. 
Cool. Hey, give me that dagger. We're trustworthy. Give us the thing. <laughs> hey, neat. Hey, does that mean we've got a Triforce? Because that's pretty cool. The Triforce of Rhythm. <laughs> oh, now I am the Zelda. Oh. Oh no. Octavio's golden loot. Gotta Fair loot enough. that loot. <laughs> oh, cool. Telescope. You look very happy. Hooray, dagger. Alright. So that's what that feels like from the other side. <laughs> Alright. So did all of Hyrule get affected by this? Looks like. That's pretty cool. I mean, obviously it's terrible, but like, as far as the scope of the game goes, I honestly thought this was probably going to all take place in like Maybe a one really big dungeon underneath Hyrule Castle or something. Oh, yeah. Or some kind of dark realm or something. But that suggests you might actually get to dance your whole way around the entire kingdom. Okay, reflect projectiles or melee damage. Neat. You can still block even if you're early. <laughs> oh, that's really clever. Yeah, too bad I messed it up. Okay. Okay, so that's a Sheikah Stone. This looks like classic Hyrule. Like, Link to the Past Hyrule. Sure. Oh no! Gotta beat up his four champions, okay? I know that the Zelda canon timeline is complete nonsense, oh, uh, but I am curious to see uh, where this one fits on. Oh, neat. So there's your permanent upgrade mechanic. I've messed up this room. If you go in the, the door and come back out, I bet it resets. I mean, that's usually how it works for Zelda puzzles anyway. Well, let's find out. Yeah, it worked. Aha! No! Wait. There is another stone. How does that help? Hmm. Is there a button I can press to climb? What happens if you push that block onto the, uh, the button? It tries to bounce. Hmm. How do I get up to the thing? Oh! Okay, go back out there, try it one more time. Okay. Uh, push the block that you can get to right now, the one you're on. Mm-hmm. Uh, underneath that other block. Okay. Uh, around the corner, sorry. Like, down one more and then to the left one. Go grab the block up top. Okay. And push it to the top right corner of the building. 
you can get up there, push that one on top of the other one. Push it one more time. See if you can push that two stack of blocks over. Okay. Other way, sorry. Where am I going and then with this? Push the other block around next to it to make a staircase. Maybe my eyes are just bad on perspective. Oh. I was hoping you could hop up two blocks, but I was wrong. Apparently. Hmm. No, but I think I know what you're going for. I will admit that sometimes the perspective and my brain do not play nice, so. We're gonna beat this Zelda puzzle, folks. Just you watch. Might be a three part series, but we're gonna do it. Oh, it's the same height as that? Yeah. It looks slightly taller, just because of the three-quarter view. My bad. I did not mean to waste our time. It's just, there's got to be a way up there, right? I mean, I would think so. If it's just going inside the dungeon and ending up at the top, I'm going to feel super dumb, though. Fair enough. Of ice mechanics. No, ice mechanics are bad. So since it's a dance game, you're clearly doing like the electric slide or something. Okay. But fan. Can you dig anywhere? No. That's frustrating. Uh oh. And red bombs now. Hmm. Could be one of those things where we just need something that we don't have yet, like an item or ability, you know? Yeah. I kind of thought that the, the bomb throwing mechanic that that big guy has would be like yeah. the Deku nuts, <laughs> but uh, I was wrong. Okay. Oh, okay. So the death mechanic is just like uh, Necrodancer. Yeah. All right. That's a classic sound effect. That is a very confusing sound effect that pops up every now and again. Yeah. I think it's when you use your reflective ability. Uh, forget the name of that spell. Yeah. So, is that a Lizalfos? So, my first thought was he was a Kabold, but then I remembered what game we're playing. <laughs> and I'm like, I think that's a Lizalfos. That could very well be a Lizalfos. Oh, neat. Myself a rapier. I was gonna say it listed as fragile. It means if I take damage, it uh, breaks. Oh. Which, if I take damage, I die. So that's not. Might as well just keep using it. Yeah. <laughs> mm. 
run. Hey, that worked out in your favor. I don't know if the glass dagger is better than the uh, rapier you were using, but uh, I guess it doesn't not. matter. <laughs> Ooh, what's the ring do? Oh, defense. Yeah. The ring does nothing because I can't afford it. Oh, okay. Inventory. What do we got? Weapons. You got a scroll of confusion from one of the dudes last time. Oh, yeah. Confuses enemies. Oh, you still have your glass rapier. Interesting that the Lizalfos doesn't, like, seem to really care that you're there. Not until he sees me. Yeah. I, uh, I've been seeing a lot of people on here, uh, on Twitter talking about, uh, like, who contributed to what on the game. And I gotta say, it's a really diverse cast of folks that were working on it, it seems like, as far as, like, who worked on some of the music versus who worked on uh, some of the like pixel art and stuff? Have you been keeping track of any of that? No. Ah. Um, like several like music uh, YouTube folks uh, got to do various bits on this, which is very cool. Okay, but how do I stop these guys? Huh? Yeah. Um, they don't like exploding. Uh, the one time you managed to kill them, the Hinox did it by throwing a bomb at them. Right. So, um, yeah, they're vulnerable to explosions, like most things. I wish the Hinox wasn't uh, invulnerable to his own explosions. Yeah. Like, I know why he pretty much has to be, given that he is very liberal with them. But it does make him very difficult to deal with. As I'm sure you know, as you're the one doing it. <laughs> mm hmm. Um, I think he exploded because you hit him. Okay, but I only have the dagger, so... I do like that you can hit the bombs out of the way. That's helpful. So he does a whole heart of damage you hit. Yeah. I was going to say, it might be worth picking up the spear just to have the range. I can't pick up the spear. It oh, it takes six. six. Oh, God. Sorry. I wasn't looking at the price, just the utility of what they had. Does your reflect spell work on the explosives? Nah, I don't know. Probably a tricky one at time. Might not actually be a thing. Oh! I 
think when he gets down to one heart, uh, he uh, primes himself to blow up. Looks like. We're learning so much. Yes, we are. Like any good roguelike, <laughs> we're, we're learning these lessons painfully, but uh, gradually. But, uh, yeah, several of the, like, music YouTubers that I follow seem to have done uh, some work here and there for this, which is very cool. Um, I guess that is one nice thing about, like, an indie game studio working on it is that, uh, a lot of opportunity there for other, like, independent creatives to do cool stuff. Yeah! Um, like, uh, Family Jewels does, like, a lot of guitar covers of, like, uh, video game music, um, posted that he worked on a couple bits. And then, uh, somebody who does Automaton covers? There's apparently some Automaton music in this game, which I'm real excited about. Uh, because it's just such a ridiculously, like, goofy instrument. The idea that it's actually in, like, a, you know, a video game like this is just kind of neat. I feel like this is definitely a game I'm going to want to, like, get the soundtrack for so I can, you know, truly appreciate some of the weird little Easter eggs like that. Oh, yeah. Heck, recording this will be nice if for no other reason than, like, being able to listen to the music without <laughs> trying to, like, survive it. Next time on Endless Mode. Yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see how far we can get. <laughs> uh, thanks for watching, like, and subscribe, and we'll catch you later.